welcome back to my channel and today I'm making Ghana butter bread so let's get into it um, first of all we gather all our ingredients and I will link the, the recipe printable recipe below we're going to use bread flour sugar softened butter a nutmeg salt vanilla to give it some flavor and taste warm water and yeast so um, first of all we're going to prove the yeast if you know your yeast is good this process is not necessary you can add all the dry ingredients mixing your butter and your water if you are not sure then you have to prove it with that you add a little bit of sugar the yeast and water mix it and leave it for about five minutes and after five to ten minutes it should look like this if not then it means your yeast has expired and you have to get a new one so if it's good then let's proceed um, I'm going to use stand mixer today you can do this whole process by hand but you need a little bit of elbow grease and a little bit of time so I'm going to add all the dry yeast I mean dry ingredients into the so I'm whisking all the dry ingredients together for it to distribute really well then I'm going to mix in my softened butter I'm using unsalted butter because I'm going to add extra salt to it and after mixing everything I'm going to add my yeast liquid or mixture and a little bit of vanilla um, it goes a long way then I'm going to let this mix and come together for about two minutes until it pulls away from the bowl then you know that it's well incorporated then I'm going to increase it to at least two and let it knead for about five minutes and if you're doing it by hand you do it for about ten minutes um, so now our dough is ready I'm just gathering it together to form a bowl and allow it to rest for about between 10 to 20 or 30 minutes depending on the condition of your room for it to the dough to relax for the gluten to also relax for easy shaping whilst this dough is resting i went ahead to prepare my baking pan that i was going to use to bake this bread so now my dough is ready i'm just going to um, sprinkle a little bit of flour and put the dough on it we don't want much of the flour so that it doesn't absorb a lot and we're just going to um, roll it make sure you seal the edges where it comes together and the seam size should also go under the under the baking pan so that it doesn't open up when it's baking um, so this one has been left for it to double in size as you can see the as i put in and how the size is looking i really like golden brown on top so i'm going to just brush the top with egg wash which is egg with a little bit of water is together you can also just use uh, melted butter or you can just leave it just like that and bake it and when you bring it out of the oven just brush it with some oil to make it shiny so i'm going to bake this in 350 protected oven for about 30 to 35 minutes so my bread is done and it has cooled down and as i've said in a previous video but i usually like to slice all my bread and freeze though that i don't need so that when i need it i just pick as i want so thank you for watching